she said to me our both kids do not belong to you yes i cheated but it is not enough for my wife to hang another man's pregnancy on me two of my children do not belong to me <laughs> but i trust my african men now they can barely forgive cheating not tomorrow when the child is not their own men if you're playing this game you need to understand that women are so so deep the man is not responsible for the two good nothing both the wife and the side children why do you say so who even owns these children these two kids that your wife actually gave to you in fact the both of you are demons she got pregnant before you got someone else pregnant like how Hi guys, welcome to Moment with Blessing CEO. We are here once again every 10 p.m. Could you reduce the volume of that? It's over shadowing my. Welcome to Moment with Blessing CEO, guys. Sorry for that. We are here once again to talk about relationship and marriage, as usual. Every 10 p.m. Saturday, only on Pop Central Channel 189. I hope you've tuned in, and I hope you've told your family and friends. Today, we are coming with a very dicey story, and it's going to be very emotional. I'm already emotional, as you can see that. I'm not even looking a bit bright, because I've been crying behind the scene because the story for today is going to be very, very touchy. So let's quickly jump right into it. Let's not waste time. So today, we're having a story from a man. Finally, men decided to talk. And this person said, good day, blessing CEO. I love your program so very much. I follow you on Instagram, and thank you for the work that you're doing. I cheated with my ex-girlfriend, and my wife found out. I apologized to her many times because I kept going back to my ex-girlfriend. And now she is pregnant. Wow. I don't know how to break the news to my wife. So I used my dad, which is her father-in-law, that she respects so much to tell her. She was just laughing. I expected a lot of emotion from her. But the laughter threw me off balance. I thought she was joking. I thought she was mental until she said, we are now even. Okay. She said to me, our both kids do not belong to you. <laughs> I think this is a game of chairs. I thought she was joking until I, I opted for a DNA test and it was true. I am shattered, I am broken, I am helpless, I am suicidal. My first son is nine years old, and my second child, which is a girl, is four years old. How do I begin to unlove them? How be he said, how do I begin to unlove them like an uncle, or rather, I don't even know what to call them, Blessing CEO, at this moment, I am confused. Yes, I cheated, but it is not enough for my wife to hang another man's pregnancy on, my, on me. Not one, two of my children do not belong to me. At this point, I am shattered, I am broken, I am even ashamed to tell my family and my friends. Please advise me. Okay, I'm actually happy this one is coming from a man today. And um, <laughs> let me quickly summarize it. The man said he cheated with his girlfriend so many times while he was married. His wife found out, and um, forgave him along the line after the forgiveness. He continued cheating with his ex-girlfriend and got her pregnant. Hmm. Then he had to break the news to his wife because probably he didn't want his girlfriend to take off the pregnancy. 
So he had to use his father, which is the father-in-law to the wife, to break the news. He was expecting some sort of emotion, you know, her crying and saying, baby, why did you do this to me? But he was so shocked to see that the woman was laughing and saying that they are now even. And it was so shocking that the woman said that his two children are not his biological children. He said he thought she was joking until he ran a DNA test. Now he's shattered, he's broken, he's even ashamed. He can't even tell his father. That's his father that he called to come and beg his wife when he cheated and got another woman pregnant. He's even ashamed to call his father, to tell his father about this. So he's sharing it with Momentous Blessing CEO for us to drop our opinions. Before we open up the phone lines, I'm going to say this. Hmm. Women are deep. Men, if you're playing this game, you need to understand that women are so, so deep. Like you have a 12-year-old son and a 7-year-old or 4-year-old and they're not your kid. Wow. My advice to this man, I would say, forgive your wife. After all, the Bible says forgive 70 times, 7 times. Isn't it what it is? Because in Africa, when a man cheats, um, everybody expects her to forgive. For me, I'm going to say forgive her, accept her back. A child is a child just because you're not the biological father of the child doesn't mean that a child is not your child. But first of all, let's first of all understand, who even owns these children? These two kids that your wife actually gave to you, is it from one man or from different men? Because the story is not even clear. Are you impotent? But you impregnated someone. Why would she have your two kids with another man when you can actually impregnate someone? In fact, the whole story is even a bit dicey. So at this point, we're going to open up the phone line to get opinions, especially from the men. What do you think would have gone wrong that would make a woman to go get pregnant for other men when her husband is very potent? Because for him to impregnate this side chick, wait, oh, wait, oh, wait, oh, wait, oh, wait, oh. This thing is beginning to do like in Hollywood, who can play the game. Wait, are you sure that that side chick is pregnant for you? Or this man, are you sure you're not impotent? Because from the way this whole drama is going, I think this man might be impotent. Because I see no reason why your wife should have your two kids with two different men. And these kids are quite grown. And suddenly, a girl that you've been sleeping with came up with pregnancy. I think there's something fishy. And I'm going to wait for the callers to actually call in. The phone number is right on your screen if you want to contribute to the story. To me, this is the first time I'm getting a little bit confused about the story because the story is not clear. But the man is saying that he's devastated. He doesn't know what to do. He doesn't know. He, he said he's ashamed. He can't even tell his family, his friends. You know, there's some certain things that happen to him. And you're like, oh God, how do I start from? And I know he's this kind of man that always wants to go and booger. But for me, as a certified relationship therapist, I'm going to say, Talk to your wife indoors because it's like the both of you are even. The crime, you actually got someone else pregnant. And she actually, in fact, the both of you are demons. She got pregnant before you got someone else pregnant. Like, how? We have a caller. Hello? Hello? Please turn down the volume of your TV. Hello? Hello, good evening, mom. Yeah, can you hear me? I can hear you clearly. Hello? I can hear you. Go ahead. Please turn down the volume of your TV. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Hello, good evening. Good evening, darling. How are you doing? What's your name and where are you calling from? Please turn down the volume of your TV if you want to call to contribute. When you're actually calling, it actually echoes. We are still talking about the man who found out that um, his two children do not belong to him. But the funniest part is that he's swimming in the same sand. Yeah. He actually got another woman pregnant. We have another caller. Hello. 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 Good evening. 
Good evening. Welcome to Moment with Blessing C. What's your name and where you're calling Hello? from? I can hear you, ma'am. Can you hear me? Very loud and clear. Hello? I can hear you. Ah. I think the network is a bit bad. Um, please, when you're calling, turn down the volume of your television so that it doesn't echo. We're still talking about a man with a DNA problem. But the guy's situation right now is that the man actually got someone else pregnant. Mm -hmm. We have another caller in the house. Hello. Could you turn down the volume of your TV, please? Hello. Hello. Good evening, man. Could you turn down the volume of your TV if you're calling? If you're actually calling and you do not turn down the volume of your TV, I won't be able to hear you. It's going to be echoing. So if you're calling, please turn down the volume of your TV. We're talking about a man that has a DNA issue, but at this point, I'm actually confused because the man has DNA issues and impregnated somebody else. We have a caller. Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Hello? Yeah, hello. Good evening, hello. sir. Hello? Hello, are you hearing me? I can hear you, sir. Go ahead. Just turn down the volume of your TV. Yeah, hello. Are you hearing me? Hello. I can hear you, sir. Go ahead. Good evening. Yeah, good evening. What's your name and where are you calling from? Okay, okay. My name is uh, Fine. Okay. My name is Fine. Okay. I'm calling from the South Chicago. It's fine. Okay. I think the network is a bit so, bad. Are you hearing me? I can hear you. Go ahead and contribute. Do you have anything you want to tell the man about the yeah, DNA? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go to ahead. My own, to, my, to my own observation, to my own observation on the program is that the man is not, the man is not responsible for the boat pregnancy. Both for the side chick and the wife. Hello? I think we lost the caller. Um, this caller was about to make a whole lot of sense, and that's where my brain is diverting to. He said he's not even sure that the man is the owner of the boat's pregnancy. Yes, because how can your wife have two kids for you and your side chick is pregnant for you? We have another caller in the house. Hello? Can you hear me? I can hear you. Good evening, ma'am. Your name and where are you calling from? Hello? I can hear you, ma'am. Good evening. Your name and where are you calling from? What is oh, I can hear you. I'm Joy. I'm calling from up. Nice to have you, Joy. Do you have anything you want to contribute? Yeah. Joy. Yeah. Joy. I can hear you, Joy. Go ahead and contribute to the show. Do you have anything you want to contribute? Thank you. Hello? I can hear you, ma'am. Please, if you're calling, turn down the volume of your television. If your television is on, we will not be able to hear you. Turn down the volume of your TV. If you're just joining us a moment with Blessing CEO, you're just tuning into channel 819. We're talking about a man who is married, but realized that his two children does not belong to him after he has impregnated his baby mama and his wife also found out. So at this point, it's more like two can play the game. His children doesn't belong to him and he has a baby mama outside. Now the biggest question and the phase around this whole thing is, is this man the owner of these three children? Can he actually give, get a woman pregnant? To me, I just feel there's some medical issues there. For me, I'm going to tell the man, why not first of all run the test and be sure that you're potent enough? Because for your wife to have your two kids and they are not your biological children, and you don't even sound like something is wrong at home, and I think something is wrong with you. And that's where I want the viewers to contribute because it's a bit worrisome to me that your wife is going to have two kids outside with another man, and suddenly your side chick from nowhere 
gets pregnant for you. I think you need to go for a medical checkup. Let's be sure that your libido and everything about your health is correct. No, no, hello. 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 Can you... I can hear you. Good evening, sir. Yeah, good evening. I can hear you, sir. Hello. I can hear you, sir. What's your name and where are you calling from? I'm a fan. I'm calling from the task Agbo. Okay. Contribute. You want to contribute to the show? So, uh, the problem is that uh, the fact is that the man is not responsible for the two good nurses, both the wife and the side chick. Why do you say so? It's like it's like the man is not the man is not fertile enough. That is why, and maybe the wife find out that the man is not fertile enough. That is why he went outside and have another affair with other man. Really? So you're saying because the man didn't get so much love in the house, that's why he went outside with another woman. Are you there? Yeah. So you mean when a man doesn't get enough love outside, it's okay for him to go impregnating women outside? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is my own observation. Oh, thank you very much, sir. God bless you. <laughs> this caller actually said, if you're not getting what you want from your wife, you can go around and be impregnating people like all oh, these are musicians. Well done. Make sure you have money to take care of them. It's not when you finish bringing children to this world and you cannot give them a good life. So this caller actually said that both children do not belong to the man. That's my suspicion, to be very honest, because I see no reason why his wife should have his two different kids with another man. Because this man didn't even seem like he was in a loveless marriage or a loveless relationship. For him to even cheat and try to use his father to beg his wife, that means the woman must be have must have had a good reputable um, perception or personality to the in-laws for them to be able to interfere at this point. So we're still waiting for the callers on the screen. Feel free to call the number. Hello. 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 Good evening, ma'am. Good evening. My name is Plessy Okoro. How may we help you? What's your name and where you're calling from? Hello. Hello. Good evening. Good evening, ma'am. What's your name and where are you calling from? Good evening. My name is. My name is Amaka from from Lagos. Okay. What do you want to contribute to the show? My name is Amaka from Lagos. I heard you, ma'am. Amaka from Lagos. What do you want to contribute to the show? Hello? I can hear you loud and clear. Okay, what I'm saying is that I'm sure, I'm sure that he's the man that has that child. Which child? Which of them? The one for his the wife or the one for the side chick? The DNA test will be correct because men don't still want to be. Oh, really? Hello? I can hear you there. You said what? I said that that DNA test might, might, might be true. Okay. That the children does not belong to him? Eh? Do you mean that the DNA might be true that the children do not belong to him? <laughs> uh, I think we've lost the marker. I didn't really understand what she was saying. She was saying that um, one of the child, I, I didn't get what she was saying. So Amaka, feel free to call back. And please, when you're calling the number on your screen, reduce the volume of your television. Please, it makes it easy for us to hear you, except you're going to be echoing. We're still talking about the man with a DNA problem because that is one thing a lot of men are suffering right now, paternity fraud. You don't even know if the person you are calling your child is actually your father. Because it's actually a woman that knows who impregnates her. Sometimes, though, there's some women that actually go around and do Ushubam Bam. They don't even know who got them pregnant. So, but at, on this situation, it's a very dicey one because they are both married. We have a caller. Hello. Hello. Let me see you. How are you doing, darling? Good evening. What's your name and where are you calling from? I'm, 
and calling from Makadi. Okay, do you have anything you want to contribute to the show? Um, I feel like something belongs to okay. the man, those women. Uh -huh. Because he's been sleeping with his wife all this while. Mm. And then, no pregnancy, she slept with other men and got pregnant. Mm. I feel like the fact she probably she knows what happened, confided on her, and then she wants to use this pregnancy to grab him for herself. That's my contribution. Oh, thank you so very much. Your contribution was very nice. I, I think what I understood by her contribution, she said the woman is trying to revenge. In fact, the whole story is dicey. I actually want to hear from a man's perspective. If you're a man and you find out that your biological children who you've loved and trained are not your kids, what are you going to do? How are you going to respond? This man is shattered. He needs help. He said he can't even go to his family to talk to them because he's ashamed of himself. We have another caller. Hello? <coughs> Hello? Good evening, sir. Please, can you be audible, sir? We can barely hear you. Uh, I think the network is so bad. We lost the caller. I actually want to hear from different men how they are going to react if they get to find out that their kids do not belong to them. Are they going to throw these kids away? Are they going to manage these kids and say, okay? Hello? Hello? Okay. Hello, good evening. Good evening, darling. Yes. How are you doing? Yes. Hello? Hello, can you hear me? I can hear you. Go ahead. I'm Mary calling from... Nice to meet you, Mary. Do you have something you want to contribute to the show? Hello? We lost the caller. I don't know where the calls are jamming today. Please, if you're calling, turn down the volume of your radio or TV set so that we can hear you. Please. We have another caller. Hello? Hello? Hello, I can hear you. Good evening, sir. Good evening. My name is Harry. Okay. Yeah. Nice to meet you, Collins. What do you want to contribute to the show concerning the DNA issue? Hello? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I can hear you. Go ahead, sir. Okay. Zuma was there. Okay. If you cut your wife, that you should never forgive her. I don't know that is the devil. Mm. Is that all? I don't know that is the devil. I just want to know if it's oh. mm. Because if I remember... Those are your life. Okay. <laughs> I think we lost that caller today. I don't know why everybody is backwards. Is it the story? I think it's Hello. the story. Hello. Can you hear me? Hello. Hello, good evening, ma'am. Can you hear me? Hello, hear good you. evening, ma'am. Good evening. What's your name and where are you calling from? Okay, it's Amaka calling back. Okay, Amaka, how are you? What do you want to contribute to the show? I want to, I want to, I want to say something, please, oh, but not because of the matter on the ground now. Okay. Please, there, there was my, my brother. My brother. He's in a relationship, but... Her girl just left him now. And now he's 
He's been, a, he's been like a madman now. I don't know what wow. to do about it. Wow, I think he's going to need therapy or go to rehab. He would need therapy or go to rehab. That's the only way they can help him. Hello, I think we lost that caller too. We are still talking about a man who um, got a paternity fraud from his wife that the two kids that he has does not belong to him. And in the other side, he also cheated on his wife and impregnated the side chick. Now, the bone of contention is, is this man actually potent enough to impregnate a woman? As we go and come back, we'll find out. Because this is a dicey game for me. I'm even trying to wrap my head around it. This man, are you impotent? Or is there something wrong? What's going on? So we're going to be right back after this break, guys. Hi guys, welcome back to Moment with Blessing CEO. If you're just tuning into the show, please sit back with your popcorn, a bottle of Coke. This is where we talk about relationship, marriage, and everything generally about life. If you're just tuning into Pop Central, DSTV Channel 189, let me quickly recap on the story that we have. It's a story of DNA. This man married wife, Congo the Chitonian wife, which is side cheek. The wife has two children for him. He cheated on his wife several times and apologized until the side chick got pregnant for him. And right now, he asked his father-in-law to go beg his wife. And the wife was like, there's no need of begging, we are even. He didn't understand that and the woman told him that he does not, he, he's not the father or the biological father to the two children that she has for him. The man said he didn't believe it. He had to run the DNA test and realize that it was true. So at this point, it's a bit shocking for us. We're trying to analyze the story because why would a woman have two kids for another man? Because from the story, the story did not sound like a chaotic marriage. And are we even sure that that side chick is pregnant or she's just looking for an opportunity to milk this young man? For me, I said the man should go for medical treatment and get to know what is wrong with him. That's the honest truth. That's the first step. When people tell you this, that, 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 you need to check yourself first. So for me, I say to the man, go and check yourself. Be sure that you don't have low sperm count. You don't have, um, there are lots of diseases that can make a lot of men not to impregnate a woman. So maybe this is something that your wife has been covering up for years. Yes, because I've had stories where women say, I don't want people to laugh at my husband, so I want to get pregnant outside and make him feel like a man. So the question now is, we are wondering, does this side chick, does this child that she have actually belong to this guy? So that's why we'll keep the line open right on your screen for you to call and put your contribution. Only blessing to you is not going to be talking because even the story itself is shock me. I'm into shock. If you realize I won't faint for this place. But we're waiting for your opinion. And don't forget that when you're calling in, turn down the volume of your TV so that we can hear you. If the volume of your TV is not turned down, we will not be able to hear you. Like I said, let's go to the men now. Men, why is it that you guys love to give things that you cannot take back? Because right now that the man is saying that he's broken and he's shattered, do you know how broken and shattered your wife was when you slept with different women or slept with your side chicks? Because this side chick you're telling us is the one that we know. You probably would have slept with different women, right? So I don't understand why you would go back to your ex and go back to the point of impregnating her. To me, that is the iota of disrespect. Right now, you realize that your wife played this game better than you, and you're saying you, uh, you are ashamed. For me, there is nothing to be ashamed of. Own up. Children are gifts from God. You don't have to be a biological father. You don't have to bet a child, or your spend does not need to come together with a woman to call somebody your child. You've known these children till 12 years. I think you guys can sit down and walk these things over. So I'm waiting for the men to actually call because I'm very curious to know what the men have to say about this. Should he forgive his wife and accept her back and accept the children or should he divorce her? We have a caller, hello. Hello. Hello, good evening, sir. Good evening. 
My name is the Coral Blessing. How may we help you, sir? I'm calling from Lagos. Okay. Yeah, good evening. Good evening. I can hear you. Good evening. I can hear you. I'm calling from Lagos. Yes, sir. We can hear you. Do you want to contribute anything to the show? I'm fucked up in myself. You said? I said I'm fucked up in myself right now. My girl left me. Oh, sorry. Your girl left you. Why? What I'm happened? fucked up in my... Why do we keep losing this important call? Look, he said he fucked up with himself that his girlfriend left him. What's this fuck up? Please, this caller, I need to call back. I want to understand this fuck up because I think it's this fuck up that is leading to this whole drama. What did you do? You know, there are some stories that are better left unsaid. I think that's where we are at this point of our life. So I need a male to actually call because I feel this is, this is where men are supposed to speak up. We have another caller. Hello? Hello? Hello, good evening. My name is Okoro Blessing. What's your name and where are you calling from? My name is Ada. Calling from Anambra State. Okay, Adaka, you want to contribute anything to the topic for today? Yes. Okay, what? concerning the married man and his wife. Firstly, I think the man is having health issues. The man? Yeah, I think he's having health issues. Hmm. And then for the part of the wife, I think she discovered earlier that the husband has been cheating long before she even caught him and then he came back to apologize for whatever. Yeah. And then on the aspect of the side chick, I'm not sure she's pregnant for him. Wow. Okay. Or maybe she's just doing it to you know, keep him for himself for the benefits or whatever. Ah. So. I think I am Thank you so much. That was very Thank intelligent. You. Thank you so much for calling. God bless you. She made a very intelligent point. And I think I'm going to pick that point from her. She said, the man needs to go and check himself. Go and check yourself. Go and check yourself and be sure that you do not have medical problems. So that when you get involved in another relationship or you decide to forgive your wife, we could know the history of where this is coming from. A lot of men are actually impotent, but they don't know. Lots of diseases can stop a man to have low sperm count and a lot of diseases. So I'm going to advise the man personally, rush to the hospital, let him do you a general test general tests so that you can be sure of what they are saying. So the lines are still open. Feel free to call the number to contribute. But please, when you're calling, hello. Hello. Hello, good evening, ma'am. Uh, good evening. Calling uh, from Lagos. Okay, what's your name and what do you want to contribute to the show? My name is Iberi. Okay, Iberi, what do you have to tell us? Good evening, my name is Iberi. Iberi, I can hear you. What do you have to contribute? I want you. You said? I fucked up myself. Fully a lady. That's the kid. Okay. I fucked up myself. Fully a lady that has two kids. But she later fucked me up. How did she fuck you up? Hello? Hello? <laughs> Today is actually filled with so much emotion. I don't understand. Oh, so men do cry when they get fucked up. Interesting. So this young guy was making a point before the phone line went off. He said he actually fucked up. But that's when we were, what we're talking about. We're actually talking about paternity fraud. If you're a man, are you going to forgive your wife if you find out that she has kids? from another man and hung it on you. Are you going to let her go? Are you going to forgive her? Are you going to, guys going to live normal? Well, that's what we actually want to hear because I think the man at this point does not know the step to take. He's actually confused. And when we ignore people like this, we make them very, very suicidal. So I'm going to say, please, we need the men to call. Hello? 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 
I can hear you, darling. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hello, Hello? I can hear you, ma'am. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hello? Ah, oh, we keep losing all the callers and it makes it very, you know, I wanted to hear the opinion from the men's perspective because they always say men are polygamous in nature. I want to understand why you should have a wife in the house. We have another caller, hello? 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 I think we lost the caller. I don't know what's happening today. Is it the rain? Hello, it's me, Eberi. I called back again. Okay, Eberi, thank you for calling back. Please share with your experience. It's Eberi, I called back again. I can hear you, Eberi. Go ahead. I said I'm shocked up in myself. How? What do you mean by you shocked up yourself? I had I had a girl that I followed. I had two kids, but she fucked me up by following another man. Oh, sorry. She followed another man. <laughs> so this young man is talking about his girlfriend that fucked him up and followed another man. Anyway, that is not what the topic is about. You're talking about DM. If any woman fucks you up and follow another man, you say fuck them up and follow another man. We have another call in the house. Hello. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Good evening. Hello, blessing. Good evening, ma'am. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hello. I can hear you, madam. Please turn down the volume of your TV. That's what's making us not to hear you. You're echoing. If you want to call in, turn down the volume of your TV, please. Okay? We're still here on Moments with Blessing CEO. If you're just joining, channel 189 on DSTV, only on Pop Central, guys. We're still talking about DNA and paternity fraud. We have a call. Hello? Hello, good evening. Good evening, ma'am. My name is Chishon from Lagos. She's somehow you doing and where you what do you want to contribute to the show? Hello. Hello, I can hear you. My name is Chiso from Lagos. Okay, Chiso, what do you want to contribute to the show? I'm in support so that they will do let them do the DNA test. The man has actually done the DNA test and realized that the kids are not his own. Hello? The man has already done the DNA test, but he realized that the children are not his. Yeah? God. I don't know if it's the network. It actually rained very heavily here in Lagos. Maybe that's what's disturbing the network. We're going to have another caller right now contribute, especially the male people who want to know what is in the back of your mind. Hello, we have another caller. Hello? 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 <coughs> Hello? Hello? Hello, good evening, ma'am. Welcome to Moment of Blessing See You. Hello? Hello, ma'am. Good evening. What's your name and where are you calling from? I'm calling from Patakot. Okay, ma'am. Do you want to share a little bit of advice? For this couple. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, ma'am. Yes. Go ahead and speak. I can hear you, ma'am. I'm hearing you loud and clear. I'm calling from Patakot. Nice to meet you, darling. Do you have something you want to contribute to the show? Yes. Go ahead. I think we lost that caller again. 
Please, when you're calling, turn down the volume of your television. I'm still waiting for a male caller to break this table for us because this is about the men folk and we've been hearing DNA and paternity fraud running from place to place. I'm going to say I need the men to come and air their mind. Is it that Hello. after giving birth? Hello? Hello? Hello, good evening, sir. Hello? Hello, sir. Hello? I can hear you. Go ahead. Oh, man, this is serious. I think they're taking their light or something. <laughs> Anytime the man wants to contribute, something must happen. But I actually want another caller online, and it should be a male, because we need to understand this. When a woman gives birth, is it advisable for us to now take this child to the hospital and be sure the child is your child before you start grooming the child? Or is it when this child gets to one year, two years, we go and run a DNA. Is it going to even help in relationship or marriage? Is it not going to kill trust? Hello? 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 Wow, I think the network is a bit better. Hello, what the man should do? Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Welcome to Blessing CEOs. Oh, the calls are jamming. I can't even hear one person clearly. Hello? Yeah, hello, how are you doing? Good evening, sir. Oh, gosh. Why are the men running? Are they running on the network? Is bad. I need a man to contribute because this is a man that is shattered and broken and do not even know how to tell his family that this is what is going on between him and his wife. So please, guys, I prefer the men to call, share their opinion. We are still talking about paternity fraud. We have a caller. Hello. Hello. Hello, sir. Good evening, sir. Evening. I'm Oji calling from the coast. Okay, so what do you have to contribute? Hello, can you hear me? I can hear you, so go ahead. I say I'm Oji calling from Lagos. I heard you, sir. I said you want to contribute anything to the show. So since the man has gone for the DNA test and the children are not our uh, own or his children. So what the man should do is to go ahead and live with the children. Since the children, the father are not willing to take good care of them. It's not about the men, they are not your children, so go ahead and send the children. <laughs> okay. Since the mother is willing to be with you as a man, so there is nothing there. Okay. So there is nothing there for the man to impregnate another woman. You know, men are very corny when it comes to their tone. They have a way of beating about the bush. They use this very corny language. We are still talking about DNA for the men. Is it okay? We have another caller in the house. Hello? I think we lost that caller. So at this point, we are trying to understand, is it okay when you have your child as a woman for Hello. a man to... Hello? Hello. I can, I can hear you, darling. Good evening. Good evening. How are you doing? I'm fine. Okay. Do you want to contribute anything to the show? Okay. Um, I'm a member. But I'm calling from Plaza State. Okay. You want to contribute? I'm something? fine. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Um, a very quick one. I just want to. To believe that the kids from both the wife and the side chick is not for the man. You know, as they always said, men now, they must always have their way. But must a woman follow the footstep of a man? I just want to know, is it right for her to do that? Because to me, I don't think it's the right thing to do. Mm -hmm. But to the man, he did not try. But I give it to the woman that I'm not okay with what she did, though. Mm. 
but they should just sort their stuff out. <coughs> Okay. Thank you so much for calling. Thank God you. bless you. This caller made a very deep and insightful stuff. She said they should call, sit together and analyze the issue. But it's going to be difficult because at this point, a lot of um, them are still very angry and upset. So I'm going to say to the man, just like everybody's saying to you, to be on the safe side, run a medical checkup and be sure that you are mentally, physically okay, sexually okay. So you can now know where the problem is coming from. Don't accept the one from your side chico because you don't even know if you're the one that impregnated her. So take our time, you know, sit down with a doctor, explain to the doctor how you feel. It could be a loss that can cause a man to drop his sexual libido, a lot. And that's why we're waiting for the men to call on the number on the screen. Call us and share your opinion. If you're just tuning in to Pop Central Channel 189 DSTV, then you are enjoying yourself. We are still talking about paternity fraud from women. And we're talking about a story of a man who has two grown-up kids, but impregnated his side chicks. One, one of his ex-girlfriend, and came to tell his wife, and his wife said, your two children are not your biological children. He ran for DNA and find out that his 12-year-old and his seven-year-old kid does not belong to him. So that was why he came to us to say, please, oh, what should I do before I take laws into my hands? Because there are so many, eh, they would have wiped the... <laughs> so we are waiting for the caller, for the next caller, as we take a break, I'm going to see you guys very soon. And I'm waiting for the men to actually call and give us the bass booze. See you guys in a bit. Hi, guys. You're welcome back to the show. Moments with Blessing CEO. And if you're just tuning in to Channel 189 DSTV, it's happening only on Pop Centre. We're talking about paternity fraud, about the man who realized that his two children does not belong to him. And that is after he has cheated, impregnated another woman, and when he came for confession, his wife also had another confession to make. At this point, the man is confused. He doesn't know what to do. And we're waiting for people to actually contribute and help. The phone number to call is right on your screen. And please, when you're calling to drop your opinion, make sure you turn down the volume of your television. Like I was saying personally, he needs to go for a medical checkup. I don't think this is something we need to beat about the bush because personally, I'm suspecting that even the side chick that said that she's pregnant, the child does not even belong to the man. The man needs to check, why would my wife want to have two kids with two different men? The story is not so clear at this point. So we're waiting for the men to see what they can contribute. For me, I feel the man has a medical issue that he needs to sort out. And um, should he forgive his wife? Yes, forgive your wife. After all, men cheat every day and women forgive them. And the Bible said... Forgive 70 times, 7 times. I know it's going to be difficult for you to be able to accept these children as your biological children after running a DNA test and realizing that they are not your kids. But I'm going to say being a father does not mean that you have to, you know, your sperm have to produce the child. Being a father is like being a guardian, guarding a child the way they should grow. So I think whether they are your biological children or they're not your biological children, I feel that should be a secret between you and your wife. But as a man, I think you should be able to gather your ego and find out what exactly the problem is so that you are sure that the next person you're getting pregnant is actually your baby. Because the truth about it is a lot of men have low sperm count. There are so many things that can cause a man not to impregnate a woman. So many times that there's paternity problems, sometimes you see some women say they don't want their husband to feel bad. They go get pregnant elsewhere and hang it on the man. So I'm going to say to the man, go to the medical doctor and find out what is wrong with you. Feel free to call the number right on your screen. And when you're calling, please 
turn down the volume of your television so that we can hear you. I'm actually eager to hear from the men to know what they have to say about this paternity thing. Because this is something a lot of men have actually complained about. Should we start having DNA tests as soon as we give birth to these children so that you know you're left to your right? How long does it even take for you to be able to dictate that a child is not yours? I'm not a medical doctor. Those in the medical field could answer that question or you could Google. So I would say to the man, forgive your wife. Like you said, you are even ashamed to come out. The both of you at least have committed the same thing. You cheated, she cheated. And you impregnated somebody, she got pregnant for somebody else. It's like you guys are on the same, you know, space. I'm going to say forgive, put your family together. Those kids, whether they're your biological child or not, they still remain your children. Treat them with the same love you've been treating them with. Don't even let them know about all this because it's going to affect a lot of children mentally. We're still waiting for, especially the men to call, to contribute and tell us what they think about this paternity fraud. For me, the woman, I'm wondering, what's the problem? How come you have two kids for another man? What happened to your husband? Even if he had a medical issue, what's, I, it's still a mystery to me. I wish the woman had her own side of the story for us to know why she actually did what she did. Because from the sound of the message, the man didn't sound like he was in a violent marriage or a violent relationship. So we have a caller right here. Hello? Hello? <clears throat> Please turn down the volume of the TV. Hello? Please turn down the volume of your TV when you're calling so that we can hear you. The number to call is on your screen, and we're still on Pop Central Channel 819 DSTV talking about paternity fraud. I'm expecting the men to come out and tell us something, but I think the phone lines are jamming. Most people who call do not want to reduce their TV, so we can barely even hear anybody. So we're waiting for a man to call to tell us the way forward. What should this man do? As for me, I have said he should forgive his wife because they are both even. She cheated, he cheated. His cheating produced the child. Her own cheating also produced children. I think they need to go back to the drawing board and talk about it and know if they still want to get married, they want to co-parent co or cohabit in the same house. But I trust my African men now. They can barely forgive cheating not tomorrow when a child is not their own. But we are appealing to the man on the show to please show the child love. We're still waiting for your call. The number to call is right on your screen. And please, when you're calling, turn down the volume of your TV. Hello? Hello? Hello, good evening. Good evening. How are you doing? My name is Blessing. What's your name and where are you calling from? I'm Prisa from Plantristi. Okay, you want to contribute something to the message today? Hello? I can hear you, Ma. Go ahead and contribute. I think maybe they they say after their marriage, you continue cheating on her. So maybe she noticed it since that time, and she thinks that's the best way for her to punish him. So I think maybe the only thing to do, they should settle the matter, both of them, and he should check his... um. Sexually help. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. God bless you from Plateau State. She actually said um, <laughs> the man should check his health and um, more like two can play the game. Oh, my God. Women are becoming so strong these days. With the way they talk, they don't even give a fuck anymore. If it was before, a lot of women would be so shy to talk about this topic, but... I'm glad men can boldly talk about it. So it still boils down to the man going to do a medical checkup. The medical checkup is going to help you know if you are actually medically okay or not so that we are sure that this third pregnancy is not also a paternity fraud. Because if you don't go for the medical checkup to find out what is wrong with you, 
you will always doubt the potency of all your children. So the first thing is to go for medicals, find out what is wrong with you, find out if you have a low spare count, then pick it up from there. We have a caller. Hello. 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 Good evening, ma'am. Hello. Good evening. How are you doing? What's your name and where are you calling from? Um, hello. Good evening. Good evening, ma'am. What's your name and where are I you calling from? from? I can hear you. Okay. My name is Ella. I'm calling from Gombe State. Okay. How may we help you, ma'am? You want to contribute to the show? My name is Ella, and I'm calling from Gombe State. I heard that, ma'am. You want to contribute anything to the show? Yes, I want to contribute to the topic um, we discuss right now. Go ahead. We can hear you. I feel um, there's every possibility the child the side chick has doesn't belong to him. Oh, okay. There's every possibility the child he has with the side chick does not belong to him. Mm. Then, um, if he wants his boy to keep the side chick um, child, I think he will be doing her justice, taking the two children she bore from her. Is it um, side chick or, 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 or what is it? Okay. Wow, I think I agree with you. Thank you so much for calling. She actually concurred with what I said. That's why we say the man has to go for a medical checkup and be sure that you are not the problem. When you go for a medical checkup, it's easier for you to check yourself, treat yourself. There's nothing to be ashamed of. Sometimes it's the things we eat, too much of sugar because we don't exercise that give a lot of men low sperm count and other diseases. So just go to the hospital, do a general checkup, so that when you impregnate a woman, you will know that you can even impregnate a woman. I think with that justification, you can now be able to look your wife in the face and ask her why she did what she did. Because for you to have a 12-year-old son and a four-year-old daughter, that means you guys have been long in marriage. So that means it wasn't, somebody said maybe because of the man has been cheating, I don't think so. I think this was a pre-planned. If this woman actually... We have a caller. Hello? 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 Hello. Good evening, sir. Hello? Good evening, sir. I can hear you. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hello, good evening. What's your name and where are you calling from, sir? My name is... Um, Calling from Lagos. Okay, do you have anything you want to contribute to the show? Can you hear me? My name is Nez. I'm calling from Lagos. I heard you, sir. Do you have anything you want to okay, contribute um, to the sorry, show? Sorry, I did not. I did not join from the beginning of the show, but I'm trying to have to understand. Okay, the I'll give you a recap. From, it's from, about a man who found I, out. Can you hello? hear me? Hello. hello? So from what I have done so far, so I think um, the content is about the man that thought his wife cheating and um, is now doubting if the child they have is his or not, right? Hmm. Well, we lost that caller. I wasn't really getting what he was saying. Um, we're still here talking about paternity fraud. What do you think a man should do when he finds out that this child does not belong to him? Not one, not two, not three. What do you think a man should do? Is divorce the option for paternity fraud when you find out that your wife or your girlfriend lied to you about the pregnancy and hung this pregnancy on your neck. Is this something you're going to forgive as a man? I'm going to leave you with this question to your conscience. And as a man, you must understand something. Everything you give to women and they take it, 
if they give it to you, man, you cannot take it back. That is the honest truth. So it simply means that it is poison. This paternity fraud started from men when women could no longer take it. They began to behave like men. So I'm going to say if you're a handsome man out there, marry a woman you can trust. It's okay to run your DNA just to be sure. But marry a woman you can trust. And as for women, please let us try as much as, as, much as possible to stop this drama of hanging pregnancy on men, especially pregnancy that does not belong to them. It is traumatic for you to have the mindset that this child has been your child all your life and suddenly, boom, you realize that you don't even own that child. It's traumatic and it can actually make a man suicidal. As we come your way next Saturday, the same time, 10 p.m., 189 channel, um, sorry, Pop Central, um, DSTV channel 189. We're going to see you next time. We love you guys and we remember moments with blessings. See you. Have a wonderful day.